So you've installed the Android 14 developer preview, the beta, or even the full release when that is available. But what if you're having problems or just don't like the update all that much and want to go back to the stable Android 13 version? Well, in this Android Basics video, we're going to show you how. Thanks for watching 95 Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. Just a few warnings first, as there are going to be a few things you definitely need to know. I think you should go and back up any critical files on your device if you're hoping to go back to Android 13 or even an older build, as your smartphone is going to be wiped a couple of times throughout this process. There is no way around this, no matter which avenue or method you do choose, as we are going to show you a few ways to do this. It's unfortunately a necessary evil as part of every method that we're going to mention, with no way to bring back your files unless you back them up first and then restore them later. So be safe. Don't go and back up everything that you need to back up using Google One, whatever service it happens to be, so you can access them at a later date. We'll also need to download a few things first to your computer before we can get started. Don't worry though, you'll find all links down in the description below and a full written step-by-step -step guide down there too, so that you can follow along at your own pace. Alternatively, you can use the chapters in this video to skip forward or backwards as you see fit. As we've noted as well, make sure you have backed up any sensitive data and information before proceeding. And because it's a simple and solid method, we'll even show you how to use the Android Flash tool here too. This is the one that we think most people should use if they don't really know what they're doing. There's also This is also going to be a very Windows centric guide, but our written guide that I've mentioned in the link does include some Mac OS specific instructions for those using MacBooks and Macs. So if you do need to learn those, you can find that down in the description as well. So now with all of those warnings out of the way, to initiate the process, you will want to download the latest Android SDK platform tools. Again, links in the description for quick access to this. This is a piece of software that allows you to access and bridge the gap between your Android device and connect to your PC. Our advice is to download this somewhere easy to find, like your desktop. You'll also want to unzip these files so that you can access them. If you haven't already, now is also a good time to download 7-Zip, which is free on Windows and lets you open archive, uh, archived files with uh, their consummate ease compared to a lot of the other methods. You'll also need a factory image for your Pixel. Be sure to download the right factory image for your device. Again, links in the description below with the device code names for your specific handset. Skip this process if you are using the Android Flash tool as you won't need any downloads because that method uses a browser based process. So now you've downloaded all those prerequisites on your Pixel, you'll need to make sure that OEM unlocking and USB debugging are enabled. You'll also make sure you've enabled developer options by heading to settings, system, about phone, and then tapping build number in your device settings page several times. This will bring up a little pop-up to confirm that you've activated this, or if you have, I've already activated the feature. So with that done, you can go back to the system settings menu. From here, you can simply tap the developer options section. And from here, scroll down to activate OEM unlocking and USB debugging and confirming any of those warning messages that pop up. You're going to need access to these to continue. You'll now need to plug your phone into your PC and be sure to enable any connections from your computer if you do get a pop-up. Now you can go ahead and navigate to the location of that unzipped platform tools folder that we mentioned earlier, and you can come open a command prompt window within this platform tools folder by typing CMD and then in the address bar above hitting enter. And this will open up right where we need to be without any confusion or extra steps. It's also worth noting to check if your device is connected, hit type in ADB devices and hit enter. This might pop up or show a pop up prompt on your phone to always allow connections from this device. Check that box, enable that. That will then show a small list of devices with the serial number or the uh, device ID for those specific phones connected to your computer. It's always worthwhile doing this to check that your phone has been connected safely as well. So from here, we need to unlock the device bootloader so that we're actually able to flash the Android 13 OTA file so that we can go back to this build. Even if you do want to use this Android flash tool, you'll need to enable this. So this is the same for everybody out there. From this command prompt window to do this, just enter ADB reboot bootloader to get into fast boot now enter fastboot flashing unlock. At this stage, you'll get a potentially scary message on your pixel, but just use the volume keys to move down and highlight the option and select the unlock bootloader and press the power button to accept. And this will 
process through that section. This is going to wipe your device. So when it has restarted your device, that is, you'll need to quickly skip through that initial device setup process without signing in or adding an account as it's practically unnecessary and pointless at this stage. Skipping this process means that we can re-enable USB debugging so that we can enter Fastboot yet again. Now at this stage, if you're planning on using the Android Flash tool, then skip ahead to that time or chapter in this video dedicated that method. Alternatively, with your Pixel plugged into your PC or laptop, enter command prompt again using CMD command from the platform tools folder in the address bar. Now type ADB reboot bootloader. Ensure that you have moved that zipped OTA files into the platform tools folder and not any subfolder or anywhere hard to find. That said, you can just drag and drop this into the command prompt window if you can't remember where you've saved it. But now in your command prompt window, enter flash dash all to start the process of flashing the Android 13 build. Now this process will take a couple of minutes. During this time, do not close the window or unplug your device. Leave it until you get a message confirming that the process has finished. And then from here, you'll be able to press any key to enter your device. Your pixel will be wiped again here. So you'll need to re-skip through that setup process and then re-enable USB debugging for a further time so that we can lock the bootloader so that we get future OTA push updates as you'd expect them to be arriving on your phone. Now, if you're using the Android Flash tool, find the links below this video to access factory images for your device or your specific Pixel device. Once you have found the right build, tap the Flash hyperlink and this will launch the Android Flash tool page. Tapping the Get Started button will initiate a pop-up that you will need to accept to allow ADB access. This also means that your Pixel will be able to communicate with your computer and the downgrade process back to Android 13 can commence. A new page will appear explaining the steps. From here, click the add a new device button and provided your smartphone is connected and in the prerequisite recovery mode, it should be recognized. Select your Pixel and then double check the software build if the one that you want to install is there. Also from here, you can relock the bootloader without us needing to use command line two. Saving time as part of this process. If you're happy though, click install and then I accept when the license agreement dialog box appears. This installation process should now take a few minutes to install, but ensure that your device is of course sure, securely connected and doesn't disconnect during this process. From here, you'll be greeted with a new page that confirms software has been successfully updated, while your Pixel should now boot into the software that you have selected. Back on the PC, if you're not following the Android Flash tool process, relocking your bootloader is an optional process, but it is the same no matter which method you do choose. It's worthwhile if you do not intend to root your phone and want OTA updates pushed to your devices. So with USB debugging enabled once again, reopen your command prompt window within that platform dash tools folder. Now we can relock the bootloader by entering fastboot flashing lock. On your Pixel, you will need to use the volume keys to scroll to lock the bootloader and press the power button to accept that. This will restore your device once more, but from here you can reboot and voila, your device should now be running a stable Android 13 build. It's also worth noting that this process can actually be used to downgrade Android versions or beyond the single or solo Android version. So for example, you can go from Android 14 back to Android 11 or Android 12 back to Android 10. This is provided that your device has a build from each specific release. And we do have dedicated for guides or for those down in the description below. The thing is though, we don't recommend that you do this as it can introduce potential security risks and some hardware features can be disabled. For example, face unlock on the Pixel 4 series, which sadly is not supported by Android 14. Hopefully though, this walkthrough has helped you if you wanted to go back to stable builds for your phone. If you do have any questions, then pop them down below and we'll try our best to help where we can within reason. Thanks again though for watching this 9to5 Google Android Basics video, here to help you get the most from your Android device.